guys welcome back to my channel we're back with another one and today we're going to do a video on bantu knots i have not done them in so long so i want to try them out i haven't done it in so long and it's always be like a um hit and miss with those because it seemed like i don't never get them dry enough so i'm gonna really try to make sure they're dry make sure they're all good and cute so when i take them out they will be good and if you are new here make sure you like comment subscribe and turn your post notification to get notified with every video i post I said we are on the road to 400 subscribers so please make sure you like and share and subscribe make sure you subscribe and share my page and you know let's get me up there to 400 because i'm close pretty close so we got this and if you're interested on how i do my bantu knots well, how anybody do their bantu knots. It's just wanna see the outcome of my bantu knots to make sure you keep on watching. So I have co-washed my hair, then put some leave-in into my uh, hair, and this is how it look. And I used Talia's YG, I don't even know how to say it, but I used her um, leave-in conditioner. Put that around my head. And then my hair is super soft. Let me see. Like my hair. Just can't wait till it like gets longer. Like, y'all, my hair used to be, I used to have some draping. So, yeah, I didn't know. I show y'all some pictures of it, how I used to look before I cut it, how I used to style it. Cause I used to always do like braid outs all the time because my natural curl pattern was nothing like this. Like, it was like wavy, like my roots were like thick and then it would get like a little wave curl vibe, very thin. Nah. That was the one of the main reasons I cut it because it was just getting damaged more and more each day. So that's why I cut it. But curl pattern, I mean, yes. I need to really film a wash and go routine so y'all can really see like my natural curl pattern. Like it's really be popping. I really need to film one of those. So stay tuned for that. I'm about to part my hair and then show you how this stuff I'm gonna use for today's video. Um, this is not gonna be, I'm not gonna blow dry, so I'm gonna do it on kind of like damp hair. And honestly, I think I might just do like a grabbing style, like just grab and go. So I usually don't really part it. So if I just grab a piece and just do it, I, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So this is my first piece. I'm gonna try not to add water. Mm -mm. But yeah. All my products today is gonna be by the same brand. So first I'm gonna go, and I use these for my co-washes too. So I'm gonna do it, I will do it on that. I use this for my co-washes. Or as I am a product. These are the only two products I use right now. But first I'm gonna go in with the curl definer cream. I'm going with that first. Then I'm gonna do the hold me down jelly. Going with that mix. I'm gonna just put a little bit though. Well, I did put a little bit. Just wrapping it, make sure we're still in the twist. Then I'm gonna tuck it under. I don't have any, yes, I do. I have bobbin pins. Well, I don't really need one though, but that's how you do it. I'm probably gonna slick it back. Yeah. 
And then I'ma just do that around my head. So I'ma show you guys that. So yeah, and then I'm just gonna continue around my whole head and show you guys the final look. So I'm about to speed through it. So I'm about to speed through it and then show you guys the results of how they look at the end when it's all completed and bantooed. Your girl is done. Y'all, so I do recommend getting some rubber bands and bobby pins because it was unraveling. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say some. Um, you probably don't need them. You do. Um, so now I'm about to oil my scalp. Cause why not? Um, I'm going to use the black castor oil. This is my favorite oil. I feel like it really helps with like the thickness of my hair and help it grow too. So, but definitely the thickness for sure. Do I have any? Oh, I got a little left. It's time to get some more. And you guys know I wear the same hairstyle because my hair is short. So, you know, I always just do like a puff. So that is the hairstyle for tomorrow. If the curls come out right. So just letting you guys know. I'm so shitty, y'all. It's really about to be done for. I definitely need to get some more. My beauty supply store is like, we gotta wait outside the line, like wait outside um, to get in. Like y'all do too much. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of the virus. Get them edges. A little bit of eyebrows. <sighs> Can't wait to get them done. Like, I'm ready to do a real, like, after quarantine transformation. Like, my last video, that was like a, a mini transformation. Nothing crazy. It's the best I can do while I'm in the house. But I can't wait to do, like, the after fact. Because, hun. You're about to be popping. Can't wait. Um, the nail salon is about to open, so I'm definitely about to get my nails done. So it's like by appointment only, so I gotta schedule that, but I'm definitely about to get them done. I'm debating on what style, hairstyle I wanna do for like the summer. Um, I really wanna do these soft locks, wanna try that look, so I'm do a tutorial on that and show you guys how to do that instead of like the regular um, locks I did in my previous video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But I want to try the faux lock soft ones. They look real good, real like flat, natural, like real cute. I really want to try that. It's... I just oiled my scalp. I just rubbed through it, but I just oiled it. So I'm going to be sitting on the dry a couple times throughout the day. It's kind of still early. Oh, well, it's like five, six o'clock. So I'm still kind of sitting on the dryer, make sure it's dry for tomorrow. And then I'll show you guys tomorrow when we take it down. So. But I'll be back with you guys. Girl is back. Y'all, I slept wild. So, like, they're all unraveling, kind of, some of them. So, but we're about to just take them down. Oh, and I'm using this, uh, the Simplistic um, Itching Growth Oil. It's the only light oil I have. So, you got to make it do what it do. Okay. Just rubbing them through now. Okay, guys, they're actually turning out good. Flipping out already. All 
correctly. Period. Okay, and now I'm gonna separate it. Make sure you finger curl it the way it's already formed. Y'all, I have a volume cone, but I don't know where it's at. I'm really winging it. Found a better one. I'm using um, Ebis 24 Hours Edge Cream. This stuff is the bomb. I use this or the Hollywood Glam Edge Control, either one. Cause I'm about to put in a puff, like I said. That's all I do is wear a puff. So my hair get longer, that's what I'll be wearing. I'm going with some more puff. Pick it out.
Okay. And this is the final look. Um, I like it. I like the curls, you know. Very defined. And I think they turned out pretty well. I really thought they wasn't because they was unraveling when I was asleep. But it turned out pretty good. But I ain't got nowhere to go tonight, so I'm not gonna do too much. But just wanna just show you guys the final sauce. Comment below what you think and would you try bed two nights or whatever. Yes. And if you got any questions, just let me know and I will definitely answer you guys. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notification. Brand new videos are coming soon. And yes, just bear with me guys, please. We're working. So make sure you share and tell your friends to watch me. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Beat for the stars.